The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Good afternoon, welcome to the show, Chit Chatting with Jocelyn. I'm so glad that you had time to join us. And again, I have a fabulous guest. I told you she would be back, Miss Rebecca Packard, and um, good friend of mine. And we just do a lot of shows together, talk about woo-woo things. And um, I, I say that in jest, but also a little bit of seriousness because I can't tell you how many people I've run into that said, you're kind of woo woo. And I'm like, at the first time, I'm like, what's that? And they're like, well, you know, you, you, you use essential oils and you don't use regular cream. And, you know, you don't use this soap and you use that soap and you don't use fluoride. You use tooth powder. And, and you're, I'm not big into meditation. That's been very difficult for me to do. It's been a while because I, I you know, I've I had a, a serious, serious trauma. i uh, been working on it for a, a good five years. I'm in a good place now. But once you get to that good place, um, that's when the other work starts. Mm -hmm. That's when the healing starts. That's when you identify, okay, um, I'm just not comfortable in this situation. Why is that? Because here I am but here I'm not. And sometimes mm -hmm. it can be opposite. Mm -hmm. So what do I do about that? Um, sometimes you just can't plow through. I mean, because that's exactly what's been going on now. Oh, shut up. You'll be fine. Just, just do it. You'll be fine. And there's a little bit of truth to that. However, it needs to have some positive effect on you. It needs to have some kind of positive effect on somebody else. It has to be rewarding in some way, shape, or form, so that that your body, your cells, your spirit, your being says, that wasn't so bad. And you know what? I kind of like sleeping at night, Rebecca. <laughs> you know what? I really like the smell of, you know, the rose oil, and it's really nice on my skin. I mean, it, it, it sounds dopey or... Uh, I love the smell of eucalyptus and mm. I've got it in my closet because when I smell it, I just, I feel happy. And mm. so it's, it's true reconditioning and mm. re, um, booting. That's yep. the word I think you used of, of your, your, your spirit, yourself, your mm -hmm. being that we have all buried into these transhuman robot AI, you can't feel anything or see anything or smell anything, or that's just weird. And, mm -hmm. you know, uh, if you're not a bully, you're nothing. And, mm -hmm. and that's kind of how I'm looking at the world right now. In full disclosure, it's okay, which one of these people is going to be the bully? Who's the one that's going to hit with the hands? Who's the one that's going to do it with the mouth? Who's going to do it with the emotion? Who's the one that's just going to stare at you like, you know, you're something under their feet? And that's kind of where we are right now, which is very, very sad commentary on the human race. Mm. So I think, um, you know, what we talk about now in this next half hour, we're going to talk briefly about the essential oil. We're going to talk about crystals a mm -hmm. little bit more. Mm -hmm. And... Um, your chakras. And a lot of people think that's really kind of bizarre, but you know, we have electrical fields in mm -hmm. our bodies. And you know, if there's a break in the electrical wire, your light ain't going to turn on. Mm -hmm. So it's no different in our bodies when you know the chemical makeup and the potassium and the magnesium and the sodium and the da -da. Mm -hmm. It all works mm -hmm. to make your body live, to make you live. So not only do we have to be stewards of this earth, we need to be stewards of ourselves, which in turn reflects on the next person. And can you imagine, you know, when they, remember that song, um, the Coca-Cola, I, I, I want to teach the world to mm -hmm. sing. Mm -hmm. There was really something to that. There was, there was. 
there's a whole lot of people <laughs> from that whole space that were pivotal in that teach the world to sing. And when you're taking care of yourself, when you, when you actually are taking care of yourself, not fake taking care of yourself, like when you're literally getting into the space of being in your body and being responsible for every action, for every word, and for showing up in an ethical, moral way each and every day, you are showing everyone else that this is what's expected, mm -hmm. that this is what we should be doing, that this is what mankind is. In whether you are for or against Jesus is irrelevant, but think of it less in the space of a book and more in the space of the man and what he was doing. He was washing the feet of the peasants and the homeless. He was showing up in the space of the prisoners and of the people who had been forgotten and forlorn and pushed aside and helping the lepers. Mm -hmm. Are you doing that in your life? Are you showing up in that space? Because if you're not, where are your values? We need less Kardashians in the world mm -hmm. and more of the people who are turning to your brother and sister because FYI, if you haven't done your genealogy, I guarantee you, you are related to more people than you realize. And in the space of it, each person that you genetically DNA connect to, that's 20 million people that you are related to. So maybe don't swear at everyone or throw stones because that's your brother, that's your sister, mm -hmm. that's your human. And it, and it only takes a small action. Mm -hmm. a, it can take a smile. Yep. It can hold the door open. Yep. And don't attach fake garbage to it. Nope. Um, if, if you are moved, so, you know, I've, I've gotten into crystals just starting. Mm -hmm. And apart from the fact that they're really pretty, and I have a crystal book and I'm reading about it. And, you know, some people say, oh, you know, that's, you know, evil or this, you know, some something that they were told that they believe. Mm -hmm. It's a crystal. Yeah. Crystals have it's been used rock. in the, in the <laughs> space of um, healing for centuries. Crystals, specific crystals were actually used in the space of um, kingdoms and religions to identify who was who and mm -hmm. what status they held, but also those were specifically picked to identify the properties in which they wanted to amplify. Sound familiar? Mm -hmm. The other thing is, is if you break open your computer or your iPhone, there's a crystal in it. So even if you don't believe that you believe in crystals, it's they're, they're everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> You know, they're, they're everywhere. They're silver. You know, right. oh, I don't believe in it. It's, it's in, your, in phone your phone and your computer yeah. and the crystals they, are in there. They're in everything. And so whether you are somebody who chooses to believe or not to believe, and we go back to that again, mm -hmm. it is irrelevant in the space of just don't condemn, just don't persecute those who do if you don't. Mm hmm. It's that simple. It, it really is. Be kind to one another. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and again, it doesn't have to be a big gesture. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be money. And that's the whole thing is we've, we've been bamboozled and lied to. You've literally been watching the boob tube. And it was called that for a reason mm -hmm. because it, may, it, it makes you into basically a zombie. You just watch what's there and you, you spit out what you're told and you're, you're not thinking for yourselves. A lot of people forget the fact that in if we look across the world into dictatorships or post dictatorships that every single one of them utilized the television as a control space mm -hmm. you in poland you were never allowed to shut off your television in north korea you will never shut off your television it runs 24 7 with somebody else's words on it think about wow. that that's pretty darn put amazing. that into perspective and it's not movies it's so not let, movies let's, let's clarify because they don't pick what they're watching <laughs> didn't pick the clothes they're wearing didn't pick the job they're doing didn't, didn't pick, the, pick food. the food they're eating didn't pick anything 
And they're sure not picking the television. Right. Because it's not American Idol playing on it. So. No, it isn't. And which, which keep that in retrospect. Absolutely. You know, these are pretty basic, uh, normal values and, and, and ideas and ways of living that we've had with us. And somehow, with our full uh, complicity, with our full jumping into it, we've allowed ourselves to be indoctrinated to people uh, in general that are going to tell us. I mean, look at the ads of Big Pharma. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, just for a minute, and listen to the side effects. Mm -hmm. They're worse than what you have now. Right. So <laughs> I'm not going to go into some of them. We have a real big joke in EMS about kind of leakages things. And, you know, if that's what you want for a side effect, it's all you. But, you know, let's think about it. Right. Look in your closet. Look in your house. What is there? I, I mean, we've known each other for a while, but for the last probably four years, every time I'll, I'll hear this little voice, you know, I'm going to go to clean the sink and lemon and baking soda. <laughs> Rebecca said lemon and baking soda. And you can kind of say, well, you're listening to her. Well, yeah, because she's not using chemicals because yeah. she's telling me to use natural products. If you can eat it, it's safe in your house. And safe for your children. And safe for your and children and, for and your, your pets. pets. Yep. Right. And there's not $18 million lawsuits against them for giving everyone in the house asthma. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Exactly. But you do have to be careful with some essential oils. Yes. With, with inhaling, whether it's food grade or not, because some people can be very allergic and If animals. you're allergic to it in real life in ingesting it, don't use the essential oil of it. So if you're somebody who gets hay fever, stay away from some of the grass-based. If you are somebody who is allergic to lemons and you can't eat them, obviously don't go out and get yourself lemon oil. If you're someone who has a poor reaction to, there's a lot of different things in there. If it, always err on the side of caution. Mm -hmm. And also, just like you would spot test a spray tan. Um, spot <laughs> test your essential spot oil. Spot test your essential oils. And it's actually, in full disclosure, mm -hmm. no different than taking a medication. You don't question that, do you? Right. The doctor says, take it, you take it. You don't, a, a lot of you are not thinking, right. well, what's, what's in the base of this? What is the origins of this? And right. do I happen to be allergic, like you were just saying, to grass? Right. Because it's the same thing in medications, and you need to be right. very, you very careful. You should be doing that in medications, too. Yep. Um, and definitely in the space of, are you pregnant? Are you somebody who has asthma? Are you somebody who's an epileptic? If you are somebody who has a food allergy, you are already going to be somebody who's diligent in looking into what you're ingesting, what you're inhaling, and what you're putting on your skin. So be that diligent with every aspect in every space. I love it. All right, so um, let's go. What essential oil did the book fall open to? So the book fell open to carrot seed essential oil. Um, I did this because I didn't bring my books. I um, picked them out before I came, yep. and I was like, "What is the oil of the day?" Believe me, she does. She holds the book, and it she, and it opens because yeah, I've seen her do just it. Just like so. it's. Um, I use books like Oracle decks sometimes, and if you're not familiar with Oracle decks, they're not tar tarot decks, but it's a deck of different things that you can seek advice from um, using your intuition and your guides. So um, carrot seed oil is a really fun oil. It's not one that a lot of people are familiar with. It's not one that a lot of people even use. However, if you are a woman and you don't want wrinkles, you better get yourself some carrot seed oil. Um, but mm. the best part about it, and everyone can use this right now, is it helps you root your energy and feel grounded. It helps you feel more into your being. It helps you um, to really just let go and allow flow and um in it's really one of the big things is it's called the spiritual decongestant so mm. like your blocks around different things any traumas that you might be holding on to if you're ready to release them um a carrot seed oil can help you do that and that you can use by smelling you can put it on your wrists you can put it on your feet i always suggest with essential oils that you do use a carrier oil when you do that it has an earthy, warm, woody smell to it. So um, it's some people will be like, mm, 
just mix it with another oil. So carrot seed and rose goes really well because they're both really high vibrational oils mm -hmm. and they're both really great for wrinkles um, because rose is your highest frequency. It's the frequency of love. Carrot seed is not actually that far from that frequency. Um, but it's used in, for money magic. Who doesn't love that? It's mm. also used in healing practices and it's used in beauty products. So it helps with firming the skin, reducing fine lines and wrinkles, and overall I know what good. I'm putting in my bath tonight. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just rub it everywhere. Shush. It'll be great. <laughs> It'll be good. Um, so I'm also reading carrot seed was prized in ancient times yes. for its ability to aid digestion, mm -hmm. soothe the stomach, mm -hmm. and it today is considered one of the most underrated essential oils on the market. It is. It's an antifungal. It's an antibacterial. It is just like an antiparasitic which is huge. Um, Antiparasitic mm -hmm. is huge because a lot of people um, don't realize that you probably have a parasite, I and hate it, to say and, it. And when you say and parasite, it doesn't mean it you doesn't got a mean worm. You got a worm. Um, <laughs> but if you are someone who is having chronic fatigue, if you are somebody who's having chronic muscle or joint aches, if you are somebody who's having chronic digestive upset, if you are having chronic, um, like sleep issues or um, there was a headaches, a chronic headaches, you should do a parasite cleanse. Um, just in all retrospect, you can go to a doctor, they only test for three. There are hundreds, thousands even. Um, and you mammals. can get them from anywhere because mm -hmm. that's right, we are mammals. We touch things, we put things in our mouths, we can't clean every single thing. And over the last three cent or the, oh, the last three decades, our biome has gone from a vast um, biome of different foods and vegetables coming from different areas and coming from different um, agricultural stands with different minerals and different things in the um, the soils to a more really super focused biome. You talk to people and they on average eat just like 10 different vegetables and maybe four or five different fruits. In our heads, that sounds like a lot. In the space of your gut and the flora within your gut, it is not. Mm -hmm. um, and so when you are going on vacation or you are going to these different places, you are going to be picking up different things that you're not used to. And, and it's a good that's thing. a good thing because you are building your immune system, you're building your biome. But at the same time, if you're finding you're having some of these symptoms, doing a parasite cleanse, taking diatomaceous earth, always food grade, um, can help you to wash those things out and come back into a balance and bring your body back into homeostasis because that. that's an outward expression of something out of Else balance that's going inside. on inside. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so for the crystal book. Yes, what the did crystal you, book. So, so I, will, um, I will say there are a lot of different agates, okay? Mm -hmm. And so in the space of the book, it just came open to agate, okay. um, which is, is general. If you are somebody who's familiar with crystals, you know there's lots of different agates. We have um, banded agates, we have fire agates, we have blue, um, yeah, the blue lace, blue lace yeah. agates, and all of them have different things that they can help us do. But in the space of agate, um, it's, one of those stones that whether it is a specific one or it's agate in general, it's linked to bright ideas and positive thinking. And I think Ooh, all of us can benefit that. from that right now. Mm -hmm. And it symbolizes harmony and rebalance, not balance in itself, but rebalance because all of us have been a little shaken. All of us go out of balance sometimes. So this is rebalancing, um, which is fantastic. In when you're using um, an agate, if you're using this crystal, it can help you to feel um, calm, safe, centered. It's very soothing. It's very mm -hmm. grounding. Um, and so one of the things that it can do, depending on what type of agate, um, they all have different ins and outs, but really it's about feeling soothed, feeling safe, feeling in your being. Um, and just remember that whenever you're using your crystals, that you're clearing them, that you're 
um, and when giving you say them an intention. Them, what do you mean by that? So a lot of people will grab, grab a crystal and say, I have a crystal. It's really pretty. That's fantastic. Well, I have a paperweight and it's really pretty and it's fantastic. But if you're somebody who's working with crystals, if you hold that crystal, there's lots of ways you can do this. People say, oh, put it in the moonlight. Oh, put it in the sunlight. Oh, put it here, put it there, do this, put it in the ground, blah, 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 blah. Those are all fantastic, wonderful things, but we don't all have 24 hours in a day. And sometimes we just want to get on with it. So if you just take your crystal, hold it in your hands, and whether you talk to God, Jesus, angels, higher self, divine self, I am presence, universal energy, whoever you talk to, or just say, my guides, and just say, please cleanse and clear this crystal so it's safe for me to use and help it support me in the way that's of my highest and greatest good. There you go. Boom, done. You just did it. And then if you have an intention, like you went specifically to the store because you were on Pinterest and you got sucked into the hole and it said, get this crystal and you ran out and you got that crystal for a reason, then tell it because in the space of it, you'd be like, okay, this, this particular crystal is really good for channeling and talking to angels. So you can tell help me to be in contact with my angels show me the signs that my angels have for me and help me mm -hmm. to move forward with that connection easily and effortlessly with ease and grace not everyone adds that last part i'm the laziest human being in the world i like everything to be easy and, and effortless and with you ease and grace because I've worked really hard for a really long time and I'm real over it. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> add that. It add helps. That with ease and grace. With ease and grace. And then you can use these crystals in different places. You can put them in your office. You can put them in your car. Mm -hmm. You can put them in your purse. If you empty my purse, I have no less than 10 crystals in my purse at any given time. Um, and all over Next the place. to your bed, Next in the bathroom, Next to your bed, wherever. in your yep. bathroom. Um, if you come to my house, they're in my sink drain. I have smoky quartz in all the drains in my house. Um, and what does that do? Um, so it keeps you from um, constantly losing your chi. And oh, so your energy draining it, and draining, draining your away. energy, draining oh. away. And it's not necessarily always that like, oh, wow, you think like this and like this is going to help you. But Intention is everything. Everything. I intend In, to be if nice. You I intend, intend to be, to be polite. Nice. If you intend, I intend not to, to lose be my energized, yeah. if you intend and you put a function to something, it is going to manifest. And so just doing these little things, like uh, if you write if you write yourself affirmations, if you're somebody who says affirmations all the time then you're putting an intention out there. Well, I have something that holds my intention, so I don't need to repeat it over and over and over mm -hmm. again. So. Wow, I love it. All right, well, we're down to like five minutes because <laughs> the two of us just can't we shut up. <laughs> so um, we need to do another show on chakras. Okay, yes. So, but can, <laughs> so based on that, can you give us a quick overview on... Chakras? chakras. Yes. Chakras are amazing. And I know, again, you, some people will be like, I don't get it. Chakra being spinning wheel of energy. And we all have different spinning wheels of energies in our bodies. And most people focus on the seven main chakras, which are grounding, heart, throat, and third eye and crown chakra. Um, there you have our solar plexus and our sacral chakra. And those are fantastic. We actually have 22 that are in our physical realm, and there are thousands that are outside of that mm -hmm. space. But the focus being on the seven help us to ground our energy, to feel safe, to feel love, to be in communication with others. If you've had, um, if you've ever gotten hit in the throat, mm. um, some people say, oh, well, before that throat injury, they were like the most talking person ever. And then after, um, they just were really quiet. You know, your chakra Chakra's can blocked. be out of yeah. um, alignment. It it's can not be blocked. Spinning. It's not spinning or right. it's not spinning the way it should be. And so you can take and do different things that can help you to reactivate that energy. And our chakras have a front and a back um, so that they're constantly moving. Think of it like a, I hate to say the word vortex, but it is a vortex because we're all energetic beings. Mm -hmm. We are all just- Our cells all spin. <laughs> right, the people forget because yeah. we're so tangible that we are just a lot of spinning molecules and atoms and cells that have all jammed together to make up the beautiful people that we are. Um, 
Um, so remembering that each of those has almost like an anchor space that comes together and holds us in place. And it's going forwards and backwards that keeps us in balance. It's wow. almost like the pendulum that keeps us centered. Mm -hmm. And when we think of it more like that, it can be more of a space where we go, oh, okay. And so when we look at the different areas that our chakras can help us and where we can say, oh, okay, well, this yellow, yellow can help my solar plexus. I'm going to use yellow. I'm going to eat lemons. I'm going to smell lemons. I'm going to do different things. That can support that chakra because they're the same color and that means they're the same frequency mm -hmm. and that it can help it to open up. It can stimulate it and that can give us more um, self-appreciation. It can make us more confident in our beings and all these different wonderful so things. So it kind of says um, self-help and exactly. I know how that can sound pretty... Yeah, self help. Right. But truly, isn't that what it's all about? If you can't help yourself, you, you can't, can't help, help anybody else. else. As mm -hmm. a mom, if you can't help yourself, how do you help your children? Right. And help does not mean do everything for them. No, it, it means, means take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, keep not, yourself healthy and and teach everybody else yeah. the same way. Don't throw away the gift that you have, which is being a human being right now in the most interesting times mm -hmm. that all of this is surging back up and yeah. and going back to basics mm -hmm. is which is what I like it's not going backwards it's back to basics back to basics yeah i really love that so tell everybody how they can reach out to you because you do do body code emotion code you are a trauma um specialist practitioner probably got that all backwards <laughs> <laughs> um, you work with crystals, you work with the chakras, you work with essential oils. How do they reach out to you to take full advantage of your your knowledge and expertise? Yes, you can reach me online at rebeccapacker.com. You can go right on my website. That's the best way to reach me. I do have social media. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I have a YouTube channel. I have a podcast. But the number one place to go is at rebeccapacker.com. And you can connect with all of those spaces right through my website. And you can um, do a trial session to experience what I do. You can email me through that space and ask me any questions you might have and um, you can see all the different things that I can offer you. I love it. Well, thank you once again yeah. for joining me. I'm, I'm glad we are back. So stay tuned because the next show, um, we're going to expand a little bit more on them. We're going to talk about the chakras, really talk about them a little bit more. We're also going to talk about vibrations. That mm -hmm. is something that's um, been brought to my mind. You know, it's you hear certain music and you go right back to that kind of like the smell thing. Mm -hmm. But there's there there are frequencies, vibrations that are good for you, and there's some that are not so good, some that you want to steer away from. But I want to dive into those, and so I can't wait till you come back. Thank Yay. you for joining me. Thank and your kids are wonderful. They're perfectly silent outside. <laughs> And, um, you know, she's got two boys. I had three, so I get it. They are, they are fabulous. So join us next time. Thank you for coming, uh, chit-chatting with Jocelyn. Have a fabulous rest of your week. And remember, be kind, be nice. What you put out there, you get back. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.